3 RC. Can a beginner 3D print an RC plane? Well, that's what we're here to find out today. We're gonna put the all new Elegoo Centauri Carbon to the ultimate test by seeing if I can make a fully operational RC plane. Oh God. Now I've used my Neptune 4 Plus to make a bunch of 3D printed trinkets that tick my wife off and use up shelf space, but I've never done anything past that. Honestly, I've never even had anything other than a plug and play or bind and fly plane before. First thing first was deciding what plane to print. I reached out to my buddy Christian, 3D Print Hanger RC, and he recommended a wonderful plane. Just like how this channel was started though, I said, screw that, I'm doing a jet. Just joking, kind of. The problem with Christian's plane that he recommended is with all the electronics needed and everything, this was a pretty expensive RC plane. It was almost the same price as just getting a plug and play plane. If I want to reap the rewards and the benefits of having a 3D printer and creating my own plane, I wanna get one that's kind of affordable and I'm able to make an RC plane that's cheaper. After watching Jay's RC video featuring Christian, I heard that they mentioned the designer Build Fast. Three seconds into checking his creations, I was hooked. This F-16 is perfect. One, it's a jet. I freaking love jets. Two, it's cheap. Not only was the design 12 bucks, but it only required two servos, a 50 millimeter EDF, and an ESC. Bingo! I purchased the files, purchased our electronics, which was a grand total of $140.86. If I can have a fully flying RC F-16 for $140, bucks, i will be happier than a NASCAR fan at a roundabout. By the way, I will link everything for this build down below, so take a look at the description if you're interested in building this RC jet with me. One thing though, when you crash a foam plane, there's an 80% chance you'll be able to glue it back together and fly again. 3D printed planes use a lightweight PLA that if we crash, this sucker is going to explode into a million pieces. Good news is we can just reprint what we need. Bad news, the print took me about a week. I booted up my slicer and put in the settings from Built Fast, which he recommended, which was right on his page and was a nice touch. Only having a limited time after work, I would usually try to sneak in a print or two. Otherwise, I would let a long one run while I was away, crossing my fingers and toes that nothing would go wrong with the print. Unbelievably, I had no issues printing. I felt like a 3D printing god. All I noticed is with the lightweight PLA, I was getting some stringing due to how this filament foams. I probably could have dialed this in a lot better with my slicer, but I'm an idiot and barely have a clue what I'm doing. So instead, it was super easy to take care of with a lighter and an X-Acto knife just to clean it up. With printing done, the only thing left was our assembly. I played with Legos as a kid, like this can't be too bad, right? Right? It went so dang well, I could not believe how well these pieces lined up. Maybe it's because I'm such a noob at printing, but I thought there would be so many more gaps and issues with the mating surfaces. Using my favorite glue Starbond medium along with some accelerator, it was connecting perfectly. We had to hot glue in some magnets to our canopy, which went great and works perfect. The canopy legit feels better and more secure than some of my manufactured planes. Installing the rest of the parts is super straightforward. Just make sure they line up, use the accelerator to lock them into place, and you're basically good to go. Now next up is running our electronics. I think in hindsight, if I did another one, I would run the electronics before fully assembling the plane. I have a wire runner, but since it had to use extensions, it constantly kept coming unplugged, even when I heat shrink them, which was just super frustrating. This was 100% the hardest part of the entire build, just because I've never really done it, and there was a lot of user error. Getting this together and the tailorons moving was so cool, I felt like the doctor from Frankenstein making his creation move for the first time. Alrighty, so one thing I didn't account for was needing these ESC extensions, which we got off Amazon. I hope they're good. I don't know, they were cheap, but they were long. It looked like the reviews were pretty good. I'll leave a link down to these uh, down below along with everything else for this build if you guys wanna check them out and I'll try to report back if I have any issues with them, of course. Uh, but what we're gonna do is plug these into our ESC so that way we can actually get these all the way to the canopy. These were the 40 centimeter ones and it looks like that will be just about perfect. So we'll take these and we'll plug these in and then I'm just gonna electrical tape them as well 
because uh, we don't want these connections getting loose when we're flying, otherwise we're cooked. <laughs> Bada bing, bada boom. That is so much longer. So what we're gonna do is feed our long extended cables through the fuselage, get them all the way to the front of the canopy, pull them out and get them all organized. And then we're able to flip it over and get our motor glued in. That's what I really like about this build is the fact that there's no screws or anything. You're able to just hot glue everything in. I was a little skeptical about this, but it did hold in place really well. One huge tip is to not use too much hot glue or your cover isn't going to fit on there. I learned that the hard way and then I pushed too hard and then I broke it. Luckily, I was able to print another one to go on. The cover thing ticked me off, so I just decided to test the EDF. That worked good, made me a little bit happy. Then we went in and we decided to install our Velcro. This is what's gonna keep our battery in place. Get that down. And then I decided to put some 3M on the loose components just cause I didn't want them sliding and rattling around. The finished product turned out pretty decent. After that, my new cover was printed. We popped it on. It's not perfect, fits a lot better. And then I just glued it to seal it up so no air would leak. Well, there we freaking have it. The 3D printed F-16 is complete and ready for its maiden flight. This thing turned out amazing, especially for my first 3D printed plane, I'm ecstatic. I'm super impressed with Built Fast and his files. This thing turned out phenomenal. I had no idea what I was doing and it looks pretty dang solid. Is it perfect? Hell no, not even close. I got some globby glue. There's a part I dented in when I was trying to push this cap down, but it's my perfect first 3D printed plane. I don't think your first of anything should be perfect. So that's what makes this perfect. I am so stoked like to actually get it working with my transmitter and to see these working and the throttle. And it is just the coolest thing ever. So let's get it out to the field and see if it can fly. Today is the day and it's way windier than I thought. And there's way more snow than I thought, but I can't wait a second longer. We're flying the F-16. We have a 4S 2200-50C battery we're gonna be using today. And then the awesome part about this is it's actually 3D printed little nubs on here so we can test our CG once we get the battery in. So Velcro is just gonna be holding this guy in here. So let's get this. I think I tried it once and it was like kind of middle seemed to be good CG. I seen Built Fast use two different batteries when he was trying it, um, but he did it with a 2200, 2900. So that's what we're going to use today because I have those. Let's check our CG real quick. A little bit nose heavy. Let's see. That's pretty good, honestly. That's pretty good. I think we're going to run it. So we already have it bound up. Let me turn on my transmitter here. Yeah. Make sure Velcro is nice and good. We have no gyro. We have no AS3X. We have no stabilization. We are just sending it. We'll put it in our low rates, run it about 30% expo. And then I think uh, it's down to 65 for the rates. I do have it on a three position switch. And we're just gonna have to yeet this thing. We're gonna have to Brett Favre throw it. I've never even hand launched a plane before. Oh man, <laughs> there's a lot of snow. Oh my God, I'm so freaking nervous. Whoa, dude, it is so much windier than I thought it was gonna be. The weatherman lied, go figure, huh? Oh man, Whew. here we go. This could end really good or really bad. Hopefully I'm gripping it good. Holy sh Excuse my language. We're flying! Oh, my eyes are watering from the wind. I can't see anything. We're Stevie Wonder in it. Dude, it's flying. Oh my God. Come here. Come to Papa. Okay, why is that flying insanely good though? Holy crap. I'm at about half throttle right now. And I haven't trimmed it at all. Okay, don't lose orientation. The wind blowing is making my eyes freaking water. So I can't see anything. I should probably get behind the flight line. 
but I'm just like focused right now. We're locked in. <laughs> it flies great. It's flying so good, guys. Do we dare try a roll? We'll do it into the wind to be safe. Look at that. Wow, this is amazing. I am blown away. It's one thing to maiden a jet, but to like maiden one that you built and put together and assembled and printed, oh, is crazy. All right, let's try slowing her down a little bit. Okay, Woo! I'm getting a little nervous, but it's flying really good. Way more stable than I thought. Again, it's windy as hell. Probably 14 mile an hour winds right now. And we have no stabilization whatsoever. So I'm really proud of this thing. Holy crap, that wind gust is coming in hot. We're going a little faster than what I wanted to. Bring her around. We got a high outfit, bring it in. Like a true F-16. Okay, a little bit of a drop, but not too shabby. Put my hat back on. Let's go get her. Whoo! I hope that wasn't too hard. Oh God. What a tank! It's perfect! Oh my God, I am in love. Can a beginner 3D print an RC plane? I would say yes. This whole process was so much easier than what I originally expected. So I wanna give a huge shout out to Elegoo. Uh, their 3D printers are amazing. The entire thing was done with the Centauri Carbon and it turned out phenomenal. I wanna give a shout out to BuiltFast. Never talked to the dude in my entire life, don't know him, but his files were amazing. He has videos on how to fly this, how to assemble it, and that really helped out. I am over the moon. This is one of the coolest things I've ever done is build something completely from scratch and then watch it fly. And not only fly, but fly insanely well. Unbelievable. This is gonna be the first of many 3D printed planes. I am hooked. I also wanna give a big shout out to Christian. He has helped me an absolute ton through this 3D printed journey. Uh, he's answered all my questions and he always supports. So go check out his page. Uh, he, he builds some amazing planes as well. We'll talk to you guys on the next one. We gotta go get 3D printed.